All right, Shalom. You the Hebrew Israelites, come out here week in and week out, prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom, known to you bird brains as America, which really doesn't exist as a corporation, but spiritually in the scripture it is known as Babylon, man. But first off, we like to give all praises to the Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Greetings and salutations to all you Akim throughout the four corners that are pushing this truth and sincerity. To all you reprobate niggas, death to you, man. Right, right. It's game time, man. We the, the clock is winding down. It's coming down to the end, man. All you dudes, not just all you other camps, it's dudes in GMS, man. All you dudes that's out here about that vain glory, man. The most high got about to start weeding you niggas out, man. Right. Cause it. This is the book of 2nd Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. Let's, let's lock it. This is the book of 2nd Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right, so that's what we set up to do, man. We That's our whole duty, man. Because you got to look at this from a, a, a big vantage point, man. We nothing like but worker ants, man. You know, we sent out here for a strict purpose and one purpose only. Like everybody else got their purpose. The men that are up under the banner of GMS, hey, whether it be for you or not, you were set up to come out here and teach the people and speak in their ears the word of prophecy. Go ahead, huh? Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right. So that lets you know right there, it ain't the thing of vain glory, man. Because the Lord said he's going to put his words in our mouth. And that's what further condemns these people, man. Because these are not our words. The words we speak are the words of the Most High, man. That's right. Why? Because like the scripture just said, he will put his words in our mouth. It's just that we understand the scriptures to the point where we have to break it down because the scriptures are written in old English, man. And a lot of you people don't understand basic English. And cause them to be written in paper. Right, in paper. What is this? What is this? Paper, man. Read. For they are faithful and true. Right. The word, the prophecies of this Bible are faithful and true, man. Meaning, if they haven't come to pass, eventually they will come to pass. And a lot of you people right now, you don't believe in the Most High. You say it with your mouth and with your lips. You know what I'm saying? They say it with their lips that they love the Most High and they worship Him, but they really don't, man. Because if you did, you would stop from all this wickedness you're doing. You know, you know all the wickedness you're doing. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. So we don't let y'all disbelief fool us. Y'all come up here want, wanting to take pictures, you know, laughing and mocking and scoring it. That shit don't that shit don't move us one way or another. Because we sent out here to do a job. The job of the father and his son, y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's right. So it don't matter what spirit you come up here in, man. We here to do a job. You people are vanity to us, man. He got it. He got it. He got it. I got Matthew 2. Matthew 15. Give me that. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophecy of you, saying, this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. Right. They say, oh, I love the Lord. I believe in God. You say it with your mouth. Read. And uttereth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Right. Their heart, meaning your mind, is far from the Lord. Why? Because this, look at this Bible, man. All these pages in this Bible and all you people can come up with is God is love. What about everything else in here, man? They tell you that the, the, the Most High is, is, is a great and terrible demon-like power. You never read that? 
You never read that the Most High coming back to destroy America? Right. Every square inch of it? You never heard of the the, uh, the, the people that's going to shoot missiles over here? You never heard who the true children of Israel are, man? You never heard of all the lamentation, mourners, and war in the scriptures? All you can come up with is love? Because you people been taught the doctrine of men, man. Finish on that up. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Right. That's what you people go by, man. That's the spirit. I didn't even know that was in that script. But that's what you people go by, man. The doctrine of men. That's why we, we put them on the board so you can see who the false prophets are, man. Give me, give me Luke 6. Luke 6 started 21. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Luke 6. 6 and 22. Go ahead, please. This is the book. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time of love and a time of... Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To, every, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right. And that's what we set up to do, man. We come out to tell y'all what time it is. Because before the Lord do anything, he reveals his secrets to the servants the prophets, man. And that's what we've been set up to do, to reveal to you scatterbrains, the most high, get ready to come back and destroy this place, man. That's right. And he coming back to set up the rightful owners of the world, man. Starting with the most high himself and his son, and 144,000 men, along with the angels, man. So the way of life, as you know it, is, 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 is about to be drastically changed, man. Jump down to verse 8. A time of love and a time of hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Right. It's, we're not in the time of love, man. But if you look at it technically, we are. Because what is love? You keep the commandments. But not that love that you, you scatterbrains think about, man. Thinking about. We're in the time of war, man. Right. <coughs> And that's obvious. All you got to do is turn on CNN, which is the Cartoon News Network, man. They even letting you know, man. BBC, all these other bullshit stations, man. They letting you know what time it is, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. But since that don't register to you, the most, what the most I do? He sent out his men to warn you, and you still don't take heed. That's right. <coughs> Except for you said, uh, uh, Doctrine of Men. Yeah, bro. You said, uh, I want to bring out this because I brought a, uh, the first one, he said, Doctrine of Men. And, and the brother in Corral said, uh, uh, that's why we have the signs out to let you people know that these false, uh, these pastors is false prophets. Well, this is Isaiah, uh, 50, 56. That's right. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Right. And that's what the, the, these false prophets, man. The people who you 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 bird brains consider men of the Lord, man. They are dumb dogs. They don't bark. A, a dumb dog ain't gonna bark to warn you that somebody about to break into your house, man. We t we out here telling you people. <coughs> That this so-called white man, these Edomites, are about to unleash the boom on you people, man. That's right. They got direct orders to trim down the herd, man. To cut down population to under 500 million, man. <coughs> oh, uh, I can ask something? Oh, no, no, never mind. You, you got something. Uh, verse 11, yay. They are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain. Right, and, and looking to their own way, first of all, is to what they were taught in those seminary schools, man. Right. Teaching that doctrine of men. What man? The so-called white man. Because that's his doctrine. The same doctrine he used. <coughs> 
<coughs> to imprison and, and uh, in, in, enslave the minds of the true people, the, the, the true Israelites, man. Mainly the tribes of Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, man. That same doctrine is being pushed today, man. And that's what we, we that's what we set up to do, man. We, we, we set up to bring down strongholds. Because the white man got a stronghold on our people, man, with these bullshit-ass doctrines. That's right. To the point where we can't even, we can't even break the barrier to at least tell you that his name ain't Jesus, man. Me and the brother was at work the other day saying, God damn, man, Esau did an awesome job. And turning our people's minds away from the gospel, man. Right. To the point where they don't even want to hear the gospel. Which is the good news, the good tidings, man. <clears throat> you people choking on milk, man. There's the book of Luke. Chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye. There's the book of Luke. Chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Right. It says, blessed are you when men shall hate you. Get a shot of that. Uh, those pastors, the wicked pastors. People don't hate them, man. Flock to their congregations by the millions, man. Right. They don't hate them. See these scriptures that we bringing out, man. They show you plainly what form the men of the Lord are to come in, man. First off, it's telling you that. Read, read again. This is the book of Luke, chapter six, verse twenty-two. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And when they shall separate you from their company. Right, and like I just said, these people, these, these pastors, man, have millions of people in their congregation, man. And they flock to them every week. This scripture just said, blessed are you when men shall separate you from their company. And I can attest, every brother up here has went through that, man. People are separated themselves from us, man. I just had a nigga in the world, you know, that was cool with just text me, telling me I need to shake this shit. I need to shake this shit, man. What the fuck? You don't even know. You don't even know what, what, what I'm all about, man. You got the nerve to tell me I need to shake it and come back and get away from what I believe in, man. And shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. Huh. Those men's names are not being cast out as evil. Now you got some of the masses that understand who they are and what what they all about and their wickedness, but their names not cast out as evil. Our names are, man. Every brother up here individually has went through that, man. They ain't been cast out for evil, man. <laughs> We've been called devil worshippers, man. For the Son of Man's sake. Right, the Son of Man's sake. Start read that part over again. Um, and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Right. So let's break it down. They're calling on the name of Jesus. Nobody hates them for saying Jesus. But they, they hate us for saying his name is not Jesus, Yahweh Shah. So that's right there giving you a plain description of how the men of the Lord are supposed to be. You're supposed to be hated for the, uh, the most, I mean, Yahweh Shah's name's sake, man. Uh, when Yahweh Shah walked on this earth, they hated him, man. So why wouldn't they hate him if we're calling upon him? They were telling um those 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 Romans was telling the uh, apostles not to uh, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures. No pictures. The, those those those, those those Romans was telling the uh, apostles not to uh, uh, teach in, in the name of Yahweh Shah, man. So we here, we out here teaching in the name of Yahweh Shah. You think they don't hate us? And they mind they tell and they mind they they want to tell us not to teach in the name of Yahweh Shah, man. This is John, St. John chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chose you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right. 
just, so just like they hated him, they hate they, they hate us, man. And that's that's a, a big understanding you got to get coming into this knowledge, man. You're gonna be hated, man. And if your skin ain't thick enough for that, this ain't for you, man. Right. And, and what what an honor, what an honor it is to be hated for representing the name of the Most High Son, the name of Yahweh Shah, man. That's an honor, man. So hey, if you if you offended in that, like the scriptures say, blessed are ye that are not offended in me, man. So if you offended in that, man, you need to find you something else to do, man. You might well go uh go play a uh, water polo or some shit, man. But this ain't for you, man. You gonna you that's that's part of bearing your cross, man. You gonna catch hell in this thing. This ain't no easy thing, man. This is one of the hardest things to do, man. And, and alone. You're not going to be able to do it by yourself, man. First of all, it starts with the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. You got to be dealing with you. And then secondly, man, the brotherhood, man. You got to depend on this brotherhood. Why? Because you got brothers that's going through the same things you're going through, man. To help build yourself up in this faith. But ultimately, you got to understand, every man got to bear his own cross. Like the scripture tell you, one man could travail that path at one time. Only one man at a time. But the Most High is gracious, and He set up that brotherhood to keep us on that sink, on that straight path, man. Help keep us on that path, man. Cause you got examples of people going through what you going through, man. This Acts chapter five, verse forty-one. 